Good morning. Hello, welcome to Supercars of London Daily Vlogs. And I'm standing up in my bed today rather than sitting down. I feel like all of my vlogs start in bed whilst I'm editing the video. So I've just edited it. I'm now selecting a YouTube screenshot to host um, my latest daily vlog, which you would have seen yesterday anyway. Um, however, I just feel like this is the, the layout of my day. I always wake up early and edit the video. Today, I'm heading down towards Southampton, so it's gonna be around the M25 and down the M3. And I'm hoping to get down there as early as possible but skipping out the M25 traffic. So I'm editing, it's now half past nine, finished editing, sorry, half past nine. I'm hoping that by 10 o'clock the traffic would have died down a little bit and I get a clean run down. Uh, meeting up with a few good friends of mine, having a cool meeting, um, meeting up with Louis from Life on Unleaded, who um, is gonna really start ramping up his YouTube videos, so it's gonna be good to catch up with him. Then I'm meeting up with Aspect Valeting, and then in the evening, there's a sort of um, evening event, VIP dinner thing with my business partner who's just started up his new business incubator, which is down in Eastleigh. Basically, it's this really cool office space for new businesses to come. There's going to be loads of sort of entrepreneurs there that are going to be able to give advice. You can pitch your ideas to dragons, like similar style to dragons then, but all be revealed. I try and get as much of, I, uh, as much of it in the vlog as I can because it's really exciting um, and he knows what he's doing when it comes to business. So that's going to be a really fun day. I'm taking the R8 down as well. So um, yeah, bring it on. First stop, breakfast. You can never have too many weedos. Which box do I choose for to fill my bowl? It's breakfast time. We've arrived at the average speed checks. The most boring part of any motorway, ever. For those that don't know the idea of average speed checks or maybe you don't have them in the UK, when there's roadworks going on, motorway infrastructure, which is my new favourite word, infrastructure. There's average speed checks that basically monitor your speed from post to post, but they only have front facing cameras, so if you don't have a front number plate, you can go as fast as you want. I'd actually like to correct myself, having been driving on the M3 now and looking at the average speed check cameras, they've turned them around, meaning that they catch you from behind rather than from in front, so before they used to be forward facing and you used to be able to not see the front number plate if you didn't have one but now they've turned it around so basically you're screwed right i'm just about to hit national speed limit which means i can start pushing on a bit but there you go 470 miles and i swear yeah the needle started moving 470 miles of fuel i could go everywhere and then right here there is where I did my business lectures where all those people are coming out from that is where I went to uni ladies and gentlemen we've arrived and as you can see we've got life on unleaded's whip behind me I parked my car here and there's Louis over there he's gonna come come and check out his actual car that is a lot more interesting than the Golf. Yeah, you can say it's a car, it's more of like a shell sort of thing. It's like a, a shell, shell at the car. moment. Holy moly. There we go. This is like a dream car for so many people. Yeah, it is amazing. It's and your very, dream car. Yeah, very lucky that I'm able to do it. But it's been, it's been stressful. Stressful? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's been about two years in the, in the process and we got it back from paint, so we're gonna do our best to put it back. Um, and this is going to be your together. daily driver for YouTube? Yeah, I'm going to try and daily drive it, yeah. I hope it, can, <laughs> I hope it doesn't break down. <laughs> but the engine's going to come in a couple of weeks or so, we'll put that in. What uh, year is it? What year is it's this? It's a 1967. 1967. 1967 Five-speed manual with a 50 gear overdrive. 5.7 litre small block, 347 stroke of V8. About 350, 400 brake, hopefully. No traction control, no ABS. So that'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed I don't bin it somewhere. But... <laughs> We'll see. Holy going, crap. This yeah. thing is insane. It's Black got interior. The... Yeah. Eleanor Star Wheels. Uh, American Racing uh, VN 427s. Like... That is insane. Yeah, they're really nice. There's loads of like um, cheap reps of these, but these are the proper legit you know, wallet hurting ones. <laughs> <laughs> so I've left my car there, the Mustang there, 
and this is our ride to take us to lunch. The Golf TDI Blue Motion. So meeting number one is complete. Great to see Louis Life on Unleaded and I'm really excited to see what he's going to be doing with that Ford Mustang but also it was just a really cool chat to have with him and uh, find out what direction he's going with his YouTube channel but I cannot wait for that. I'm trying to work out which way I need to go. I'm now about 20 minutes late to meet up with Ben from Aspect Valeting so I need to um, apologise to him. <laughs> Look who it is! Hey, it's, it's, it's Benny Mr. Boy. It's, it's, He's given me my own air freshener, aspect balancing air freshener. I've pulled up. There's Steve, hey, Steve, who's my business partner, and this is the Inky Hive space where the event is going to be tonight. So I'm going to vlog, and I'll do a quick. Um... Oh, there's music playing. I can't go in when there's music playing, but look. Actually, I'm going to run in. I'll run in quick and I'll talk over it and let the cool the champagne. That is the launch party tonight. So this is looking awesome. So it's good to catch up with Ben, who has worked multiple times on the car. When it was red and gold, um, we did a fantastic day, deep detail on the car, made it look absolutely brilliant. It was super clean. And then you may also remember as well, I'm going to put this in the vlog where I got my lips stuck in the glass bottle. Um, but at the moment, the car's looking pretty clean. But that doesn't mean Ben can't work his magic on the products. He's got his own ceramic coating range. And uh, the interior of the car is also dirty as well. I think I mentioned it in one of the vlogs before. But there you go. It's aspect balloting, there's his van. So what's next for my car? Oh, what's that? Interior shine. You're not doing that to my car now? No, we're not doing that. To no. There's not enough time, unfortunately. This unfortunately, is a very, not, very mate. rushed Friday. Yeah, down to Paul, not down to me. <laughs> What's that? Is that ceramic coat? It is indeed for your phone. Oh, you found a bottle? Yeah, I've got one, mate. Some spare, yeah. Oh, can you do it? We can do it for your bud, yeah. Yes! <laughs> so this means that my phone won't, it won't, the screen won't scratch. I don't need a screen protector. No, you don't, mate. No, you don't. Right. Do not, I don't need a screen, I don't, don't even have Shut a screen protector. Are we going to do it on my car? Yeah. All right didn't think you'd be getting in the vlog detailing my phone, did you? No, not today, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> so Ben has got to go home. Not home, you're going to more meetings. I've got more meetings for work to do, yes, <laughs> What's that, have I? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> anyway, my work is classed as daily vlogging. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can see Ben working on my car when it was Team Iron Man. Was it yeah. after Gumball? It was after Gumball. After Gumball. After yeah. Gumball. In the blistering heat. And then I was there sort of with my feet up underneath the canopy. Relaxing. <laughs> getting your uh, lips stuck in the bottle. Yeah, I've already said that to oh, you. Did you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll leave the link <laughs> in the description because it is hilarious. Brilliant. It's a great video and we're going to be doing a lot more stuff with Aspect Valeting. Um, but I think my colour, the car needs to change colour first. Whether it goes silver, or whether it goes blue, or whether it goes a different colour, who knows. Um, the other thing that I'm going to say is, when this car is up for sale, Ben is going to be working his magic to get it better than showroom quality. I'm also going to leave the link for the McLaren one. Yeah, great, yeah. Because the McLaren... Make sure you watch it. Yeah, the McLaren one was a brand new customer car who had uh, wanted Ben to go up and v detail and cer ceramic so coat, coated, protect it, yeah. protected the paint, before, rather than the actual McLaren dealer. So. It is an awesome video and a lot to learn regarding valeting and detailing and we're going to do it on this car so that when someone buys it, it is better than in the showroom. Vlog update for you, I haven't really cut in in the last hour or hour and a half or whatever. I've been in the Basingstoke Shopping Centre which I have only ever been in once, went to GBK, had a burger and now we're heading back towards Eastleigh where I just was with Ben from Aspect Valeting and Steve to the Inky Hive space where at six o'clock their sort of event launch evening takes place, champagne reception, all that jazz. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the official changing room um, before the uh, event tonight. It's like um, the official launch for business associates, friends, family, and I've just found the champagne collection down there, which is pretty awesome. Now it's a smart casual event, so unfortunately I don't have any smart clothes because um, even meetings and things, I normally just wear like jeans and a t-shirt, but I might rock this. What do we think? Whew. Shall I go down like this? 
<laughs> I'm actually only wearing this jumper that I wore two days ago at the Audi launch. Um, unfortunately, my wardrobe is not bottomless, like um, someone like Kim Kardashian. Um, so it is gonna be that jumper and a white t-shirt. <laughs> not smart at all. So to give you a real brief overview of what this place um, is going to become, this is a photo studio. One of Steve's main businesses is um, professional photography. Got a photo booth. And through here is the open space office plan. And there's Chris. Chris works for Stolen Images, who helped me Film the Iron Man video. Yeah, yeah, How are you doing? Yeah, Good to see you. You're on YouTube. Hey, <laughs> is there some sort of like live streaming going on? No, 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 no. I'm vlogging. Daily oh. vlogging. It may look light outside, but ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of my day. I'm now heading back and I'm just going to chill out. I've driven so much today and my car has performed fantastically. I've got 250 miles left in the tank and I've just used over a quarter of a tank. I've gone from Watford down to Winchester, from Winchester to Eastleigh, Eastleigh to Basingstoke, Basingstoke back to Eastleigh, and now we're heading across towards Wilton, not as far, near Salisbury, to spend the night there before I head back up to London tomorrow. And uh, what a fantastic day. I feel like I've been vlogging mostly from my car, but hopefully you've enjoyed coming along with me on my journey. And there was a great evening tonight with the um, InQ Hive space. So um, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I said a couple of days ago, it may have been yesterday's vlog, that I was going to hold back some of the RS3 content and put it out a bit later on this month. But I'm going to upload it this Sunday so you guys get to see the reaction and hill climb video of me thrashing the RS3. It was a, so much fun. What an amazing day. I think the highlight of my week and month has been um, the RS3, driving the RS3. Um, and what's to come in June? We've still got Goodwood. I'm going to be heading it to Brands Hatch as well one, one day soon. I'm not entirely sure when that is. And I've just got a few sort of exciting bits and pieces coming up. So, as well as car spotting. So the weather is looking brilliant for the rest of the month and now I feel like I'm a weather forecaster. So I'm going to stop there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. We've got to do it. And then it works. I really don't like looking at myself in the screen.